Hello, my name is Nelly and today I will be showing you guys how to do your crypto taxes online. So this is a video for mostly the Australian audience, so I hope you enjoy it. The first step of this process is to file your taxes online. You have to log into the ATO's MyTax from the MyGov website as shown on screen. From MyTax, head to Manage Tax Returns. Alrighty, from here on out, you're going to select the option for 2020 2021 return and follow step one to ensure that your contact details are up to date. After that, just as important, go on to step two and check that your financial institution details are correct. Alrighty, then on to step three, where you need to personalize your tax return form by making a few relevant updates such as your marital status and other information. And very importantly, select these three options to cover your crypto activity. The first being the capital gains or losses you've made from crypto. So for capital gains, check the box for you had Australian interest or other income or losses, partnerships or trusts. From there, select capital gains or losses that are not from a managed fund. You might have made income from crypto. So if you see income on your Coilin report, be sure to check the box for you had other income not listed above. And finally, the third selection, check the box for deductions you want to claim. Here, you want to check other deductions. Later, we'll add related costs like the Coinly plan you're using for this video. Now, your form is set up to enter the totals from your Coinly report, so on to step 4. Start with the capital gains or losses section first. Under the total year capital gains, we can put $5,000 as per Coinly report. This takes into account any trading fees. Now we can put in our net capital gains. Over on the Coinly report, we see a net capital gain of $4,500. This is your total capital gains minus any losses. And in our case, we can see $500 of capital losses. So 4,500 is our net capital gain. Now, if you've held your crypto investment for more than 12 months, you may be eligible for a long-term gains discount. This gives you a 50% capital gains discount. Apply this discount to your capital gains minus any applicable capital losses, and that will be your net capital gain. In this example, as there were no short-term gains, as per the report, the net capital gain is $2,250. So over in my tax, we'll add $2,250 as our net capital gain. If, for example, we made a total loss, we would have entered it here under net capital loss. And finally, to wrap up the capital gain section, we select no to additional discounts. So now, on to our crypto income, if we made any, of course. And looking at our Coinly report, we can see some income was made from airdrops. So to add this, select other income, and then select any other income, and then select other once again. For the description, we'll use airdrop, and the total there on the Coinly report shows $44, so we'll enter that and click save. Now we can move on to possible deductions directly related to your crypto gains and income. As per our Coinly report, we see a total of $11. These are transactions that have been explicitly tagged as costs by the account holder, but it's always best to check with an accountant on what's deductible and what's not. So to add this expense, we'll select other deductions and then deductions related to financial investments. Add in the description and the total amount from your Coinly report, so that's $11. Still, in the other deduction section, we can also claim the cost of the Coinly plan. This would be labeled as other deductions as well. Add your description and remember to convert the cost of your Coinly plan from US dollars to Australian dollars. So on the day the $49 plan was bought, that was 58 Australian dollars. So we'll figure that in. And there you have it. Once that's done, you've covered off all the requirements for your crypto activity. From here, you can check off all the usual requirements and submit your return once you're done. And as always, if you have any questions, you can leave them down below or you can visit our forums. But if you found this video helpful, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.